We are in my hometown of Los Angeles doing a burger crawl. I have the biggest burger lovers in LA with me today. Mark Rosati, Jesse Eats, and Fredicini over here. And of course, Carnivore, you know I love burgers. So guys, where are we going today? Well, I'm excited because this is the first stop and we're at Amboy in the Far East Plaza in Chinatown. I love this spot. They have one of my favorite burgers, which is a DH burger. It's a big boy. It's like a fatty, juicy, yummy, opposite than everything else in LA right now. They're all doing smash burgers. Okay, DH, we have to ask what that means later. Yes. <laughs> We're starting out a pretty high bar here because Amboy Quali meets here, the chef Alvin, he, he just kills. He does all the fundamentals right. He actually has his own butcher shop in there, dry ages his own meat, grinds it, makes a stellar burger. And then to go the next one, we're going to uh, another great place in LA, Gold Burger. I think the owner of that place started out actually as a barista and he put all that attention and detail into making perfect coffee. He took that focus and now is doing burgers, which is pretty exciting too. So that'll be, I think, a fun one to go to after this. Awesome. And then we're hitting another smash burger for the win that is on LA's 101 Best Restaurants list right now. Yeah. That's pretty big. So we'll see if it's the best smash burger in LA. I don't know. I'm super excited because I've never had this burger before. So it's kind of like, ooh, what are they going to be doing over there? It oh. is exciting. So the DH, that's the favorite. That's the dry aged one. Yes. The Grizzly sounds great. The Grizzly does sound good. Let's try those. Cool. Mark here from Shake Shack, you have to tell us what you do for a living. He eats burgers for a living, basically. <laughs> I do. I've been with Shake Shack uh, for about 15 years now, uh, doing all R&D and developing with the company. I'm the culinary director, and I've always been a huge fan of hamburgers. It's just what my passion is in life. I never thought I'd work in it. But it's fun because like, when I'm at work, I put like you know laser focus into creating burgers. But then when I come to a place like this, I'm not thinking about work. I'm just, I'm a fan, I'm a kid again. I just want to go eat a great burger and hopefully it's going to put a smile on my face, so. And to be honest, my favorite burger is Shake Shack. Shake Shack. I'm like OG <laughs> Madison Square Garden. There was only one location. Shake Shack, Shake Shack sets the bar. Like it mm -hmm. elevated fast food burgers for me. And now like when we travel, like it's great to know that there's Shake Shack in most cities. And we usually like get it as a point of comparison and maybe try like the different menu items in the store there. And then we're trying like the best burger in each city when we travel. And it's like, but it's so fun because you always have like Shake Shack is like our constant, like this variable that like yeah. holds. It's like how I like judge other burgers, you know? It's like, that is that is my constant. The fact that we're here in the Chinatown market, we have Amboy right here that's nestled in amongst all these other incredible restaurants. We have La Cita here, Pearl River Deli, Howlin' Rays. Like the look, the feel, the smells, this place could only exist right here. And I think that's what's so exciting about it. It's really a love letter to this neighborhood. So beautifully uh, said, it's like a burger poem. This is the DH, the Deluxe Hamburger, and uh, it's a big boy, cooked medium rare, dry aged beef. They only have it sometimes, so we got lucky today. It's like buttery, ooh, look at that. Tasty. A little more cooked than I would have liked, but um, really good meat, nice like char on the edge, like crispy edge. Mm. Look at that steam coming Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> it's a hot guy. I like the grind on this here. It's like a nice thick grime. And I think for a burger like this, that's like big and meaty. A nice robust grind like that just makes it that much more fun to eat. And you get these like little bigger pockets of juice in there. I think the meat is the real star of the show in this one. It's definitely like 75% meat for me. This is a meat lover's burger. Yeah. Let's see if it holds up to my memories. This was my quarantine burger. Okay. I would come here during quarantine. All right, comfort burger. It's all about the meat. It's all about the meat. There's like also a really nice like garlic mayo on it, aioli that is just subtle. Yeah. But the star 100% is this patty. This is the grizzly. It's got American cheese, yellow mustard, and they call this a squishy bun. This one tastes like a baseball game to me. Just simple like all American burger. I see uh, little slices of looks like red onion in there. Very, very thin ones, which I think is awesome. Nice pickle in there. Yeah, this is pretty delicious. This is the type of burger that you see a lot of people do, but it really comes down to having the balance amongst all the elements here. And again, like the, the thin shave of the red onion is perfect with this. Like when I bite into it, nothing is jumping out at me. And the other burger, I mean, the beef, of course, is the star of the show, it really jumps out here. 
all the elements are kind of harmonious. Like I can't really say I'm tasting the cheese, I'm tasting the beef. It all just blends together nicely here. It's really well balanced. Yeah. It's like a good mouthfeel and like the American cheese like coats the roof of your mouth and it gives it that kind of like a little hug. It does, mouth. yeah. I <laughs> love how you said this reminds you of baseball game because it is just like a childhood nostalgia burger. It's, it's like simple. Simple, but like does the job in a very nice, comforting way. Classic cheeseburger, caramelized onions, American cheese. Right away, it's a totally a different experience than the other burger we had, the other kind of double smash. This one here, the sauce, the pickles, they have like the garlic dill note to them. They're coming out a lot more than the other flavors did. Now, again, that one, all the elements totally blended together nicely. This one, all the other elements are more assertive. Yeah, you're right. This is good. I liked the grizzly because it was just like a seamless bite. And also it's a little bit, I think the sesame is a little bit drier to be honest. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the other one that's like a, a pillow. It is a in pillow. Your mouth. <laughs> a squishy pillow. This is maybe more the memory foam pillow. That one is like the falling apart pillow. <laughs> I think this is my favorite of the three, actually. This is the most like cohesive for me. I like the onions, I like the sauce. I think I like the, uh, the grizzly. That's kind of my favorite, but I think I think if I came here, I'd be happy with all those. It's just the mood I'm in. If I'm on the go and I want to take that and run to my car, I have to go somewhere, I'll probably get the Grizzly. If I'm going to sit down, I'm probably going to get the um, the double. And then if I'm like, okay, I am hungry. It's been a long day. I want to go all in. I'm definitely going to get the DH. Before we left, we ordered another DH burger. And this time they cooked it perfectly medium rare. We jumped in the car to head to the next stop on our burger crawl. LA is a massive, sprawling city, so we had to do a bit of driving between the restaurants. About 10 minutes later, we arrived at our second stop, Gold Burger in Los Feliz. If you want like a little bit of a, a kind of a, a wild car, I'd recommend either the Patty Melt, which is awesome, or the LA Special. What I love about the LA Special is there's a whole other culture in LA based around pastrami. There's pastrami shacks here, and they usually serve burgers. I've never seen it in any other city in America, but that kind of idea of burgers and pastrami is so LA, and these guys marry it together, which is kind of cool. Have to try the pastrami burger, but the patty melt, Mark, is the patty melt a burger? Are you we know, gonna get into this right now? Know, Sandwich or burger? I, I kind of feel it's not a burger per se. I don't think that's a Burger. I think maybe a, a burger can be on a different bread, but anything on a burger bun is not a burger. It's very true too. So I think a patty melt could technically be a burger because the burger is the patty. Yeah. Okay. I okay. don't know, but are we gonna are we gonna like fight this battle right now? Because like if we if we name the patty melt the best burger in LA, that's gonna be that's gonna be some drama. We're gonna get definitely some very heated comments. Okay. All right. So it sounds like we have to try sure. the LA special LA with special. the pastrami. Yes. And the gold burger. It's, yep. I mean, the name. It's in the name. And a side of curly mm -hmm. fries mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with some aioli. Thank you. Whoa, look at these curly fries. Oh my gosh. I love curly fries. This is like childhood. The gold burger. Oh, look at that smash. This is like, this is what I call like burger lace. So thin, what the heck, burger lace. Which is actually a pretty cool technique. It's a very labor intensive, but you can then get the best of both worlds. You have like a nice medium as juicy as burger in the center. But by pushing out those edges, you're also gonna get that crispy, crunchy kind of shallow frying its own fat, lacy edge, which is pretty cool. Not a lot of people do that. Some will just smash it really thin, then you lose having like that nice, juicy, more medium-ish center. So that's a cool technique. Here we go. <laughs> Very different mouthfeel than the other spots. That's a really unique burger. I've actually never had a burger like this. Like it's so thin. I've never had such a thin burger. And it is like a kind of a weird mountain where it's like the meat lays at the bottom and the inside is cooked. Yeah. Um, but they also are smashing the onions in it too. Oh. So the onion is like a part of this it's patty. Like it's on like on top of the patty. Yeah, like milled okay. it in. <laughs> nice, like deep, rich flavors on this, which uh, like smashing the onions into the patty, flipping them over again, just as the meat is getting caramelized on the outside. You're probably having the onions burn a little bit. There's not the burger fat protecting it like it is in the center. 
technique from Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Smash Burger. It's fun to eat though, because you do have like those different like textures you're gonna get. The really thin crispy bits, a little more juicy stuff in the center. What do we have here? Oh, pastrami. Oh. There it is, the LA special. Pastrami's jumping out right away on this one. I like this because of all the textures you get with the slaw, with the sauce. Okay. I'm going for the middle bite first this time. <laughs> mm. Very different. The pastrami is so soft. It gives it a, like a smokier flavor. And that's a wrap on Gold Burger. We'll have to try more of their menu items next time. Our final stop of the day was For the Win, located in a nondescript parking lot in Hollywood. None of us had tried this burger before. Time to put it to the test. We're here for the win. For the, for win. the win. Will this be the winner of the burger crawl? No idea what we're about to have here, so. Uh, Smash burgers. Yeah, it smells good. LA Times like it, let's see yeah. if we agree. There's also something beautiful about Hole in the wall, mini mall LA spots. They're always like the secret contenders. So, very LA in the strip mall here. So, should we get a double? Yeah, I feel like that's what we've been going with. Triple feels aggressive, single feels like not the right mascot. I think we got double. I think two doubles. Two doubles. Inside for the win, they have this abstract art piece. It's actually layers of a burger. It's amazing. I need this in my home. What is the definition oh, of a wait, burger? Wait, wait, like, this is this is the thing that like I've been struggling with and I feel like I, I researched a lot last year as like living in Denmark because people define a burger as so many different things. And in Denmark, they really think it's the bun that defines what a burger is. Anything on a burger is a burger. And for me, a burger is definitely the patty and it's usually ground beef, but it can also be ground chicken or turkey. Veggie, veggie burger, that's yeah. the thing, you know? But if it's fried, you know, just a fried piece of meat, then to me it's not a burger, that's a sandwich. So, you know, is a fried chicken sandwich a burger? I don't think so, I think it's a sandwich. I 100% agree. I feel to kind of get the burger, like get, get that, check off that box with the definition, I think you need a bun and you need a patty. And usually it is ground up, it's cooked and it's served on a bun. Yeah. I think if you're gonna fry a piece of chicken, or like bread a piece of fish and fry that, that's not a chicken burger, that's not a fish burger. That's something different, that's a sandwich. And I love it. I yeah. They're delicious, Absolutely. it's just not a burger. Thank you, wow. Thank you. Look at it. Looks like a Martin's roll. What do you think? I definitely see Martin's. Wow, it's warm and it smells buttery. They use butter, they toasted this bun with butter. Hello. Okay. Guys, it's my favorite of the day. Really charred like flavor. It's pretty like blackened, but like in a caramelized way, not burnt, but it's, it's on that border. People will call it burnt, but it's not. It kind of melts in your mouth. I really like the tang, the tang of the sauce. I mean, it's interesting to think of all the different burgers we've had. A lot of smash ones, but they're all different. You know, there's different techniques you can incorporate. How like the guys over at Gold Burger, they'll they use that special device to kind of pull the meat from the center down, so it almost looks like a ski slope. You get this. This one here, it's like the smashed onion burger technique, but it's smashed down, and they get a really good char. They must have very hot grills to get that. It's still juicy on the inside, but you're creating even more richness, I think, than some of the other burgers where they're a little more lightly caramelized. I think that sauce, the pickles and the onions, when it all comes together, there's balance and harmony. For the win is for the win, because I like it when it's just cohesive, simple comfort. That for me is what we were talking about was a burger. That is like burger for me. It's that just comfort. 
Okay, it's like honey mustard, chili mayo. There's some like, there's some cayenne pepper. Ooh, it's a good sauce. I think the thing about today is that every burger was so different and they all had their strengths, you know, some were bigger than others, but even the smash burgers were all so different in style. I expected them to be really similar because the smash burgers I've had in the past have been so like, you know, on one level, but these were really like dynamic, different uh, things going on. And I think what we've seen today is that we all have such different palettes and everybody maybe has their own favorites and it's not always gonna be the same. There's maybe no one best burger of the day. I mean, my favorite was this last one and it's probably because of the sauce, I'm a sauce girl. And I haven't like heard much about this spot compared to the other, the other ones I've heard so much about Amboy and Gold Burger. So I had higher expectations than here. Sure, they're on the LA Times 101 list, but other than that, I hadn't heard anyone say anything. You guys hadn't tried them. So it's like nice to have like a surprise, surprise like good burger. If you live in LA, you are actually the winner here. I think everyone, there's such diversity. And while there are a lot of similar styles, they're all done differently. You know, like such little things as like, how hot the griddle is, how thin or thick you cut your onions. It's all very personal. I think each one of these places put their own personal mark on what a burger can be. And I'd say I would go to all of them again because they all do it slightly different and they all have their own unique vision, which I think makes it interesting. What's cool is to be sitting here right now, and I, I do consider this one of the great burger cities in the world. I actually think a lot of burger culture all around the world is influenced from this city. And my one of my favorite time periods is like the 1950s. A lot of cool things happened there. If I can get a little bit geeky with you guys. So during that time, that was when everyone was talking about going to the moon. It's a big race to get to the moon, putting the first person on the moon. So a lot of cool things were happening in California. There were cool cars being made. And the thing is, if you bought a car, you had to drive it somewhere and show it off. So where'd they go? Burger stands that are popping up all over this city. And that's when some of the great ones like Apple Pan, like In-N-Out started to come and do their thing. And that was seen all over the world. It's been, it's been replicated, it's been inspired, it's been called out. But in the 1950s, it was all about just optimism. Now, what's more optimistic than a delicious burger with people? Burgers were my go-to during the pandemic. It was my comfort food. It was like the classic nostalgic flavors that you needed in a like scary time. It's like a burger is always there for you. I love burgers. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. If you like our work, support us on Patreon, where we also have a food community called The Hungries. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more food and travel videos. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Andrews Husa and Carnivore. Thanks for watching.